Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to show you why you should not buy this electric bike motor or at least the electric bike conversion kit that includes this type of motor. Now this is not how this video was supposed to go. I did not want to make this video. This was supposed to be the culmination of a project that's been about three months coming that I started uh, with another video on this channel where I showed you guys how to build a super cheap e-bike. And in that video, I basically went window shopping and I just chose uh, from all of the electric bike conversion kits out there and all the parts and batteries, the parts that you could choose to make the cheapest possible electric bike conversion while still keeping it decent quality. You know, not using like things that are just gonna fall apart and disintegrate. So I chose this kit, which was a $103 kit because it had decent reviews and seemed to be basically bulletproof you know it's a brushed motor these things are pretty tried and true now in addition to this hundred and three dollar electric bicycle conversion kit i also got some uh, electric hoverboard batteries that took months to arrive they finally arrived once those batteries came in i was finally ready to get started on this project and that's where everything kind of started to fall apart well, i mean not initially at first things looked like they were going well the kit while it was simple looked like it was going to be all right and i even started filming the beginning of this conversion episode Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be turning this cheap mountain bike into an electric bike for as little money as possible. For as little money as possible. Little money as possible. Ah, look at me. So young and naive, full of misplaced optimism. Of course, that was before I realized what a nightmare it would be working with this motor and this kit, which on the face of it seems like a fine kit. I mean, here's a rundown of all the parts and, and what's included in the kit. All right, so here is everything that I bought to be able to do this ultra cheap DIY electric bicycle conversion. I started with a $103 e-bike conversion kit. This included this brushed 350 watt motor, nothing fancy about it, but it'll get the job done, as well as a matching 350 watt brushed e-bike controller. Uh, in addition, there's a uh, sprocket set up here. This goes on the left side of the wheel. It's chain driving. It comes with a throttle and the matching hand grip for the other side. Let's see what else. It's got all the hardware, the connectors. Basically, it's got everything you need to do the uh, mechanical part of the conversion. So it seems like a fine kit, albeit a bit cheap. The problem begins when you start installing the kit. Now, at first things are kind of all right. You start by installing the sprocket on the rear wheel. So you basically uh, put these like rubber washer things in there and then you tighten down the sprocket onto the spokes using a mechanism that uh, a friend of mine in college used to refer to as the spoke ripper. He was not a big fan of these types of mounts. It looks a little bit uh, janky, but it pretty much works. It gets you a sprocket on the left side of your uh, rear wheel. Next though comes mounting the motor. And that's where really the, the wheels just fell off the wagon. So this is the universal mount that they give you. And they say it fits most bikes. The problem is I have yet to find a single bike that this will fit. So this is the first bike I started with here. And the problem is once I got this thing on, it, it actually fit the bike. The, the issue is that it had the motor so far cambered out that the sprocket just would not align with the uh, drive sprocket on the motor. So um, like if you look at the chain line here, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous. So uh, I tried playing with it, you know, maybe uh, I could have modified this mount or, um, you know, welded something up, but that's, that's not really the point of this kit, right? Like it's supposed to just work right out of the box. You shouldn't need metal fabrication skills to be able to make this fit a bike. So I went and grabbed one of my other bikes. I had this old Merida and I tried putting it on there. Uh, the chain line was a little bit better, maybe, kind of, but it, it still didn't line up. And then that one had another issue where the um, two points where it mounts onto the seat stay and chain stay didn't both line up at the same time. So even if I could have gotten the chain line to line up on that bike, I still couldn't have actually bolted this thing in place and it just wouldn't have worked. In the end, I tried four different bikes. None of them fit this kit. And it was just an incredibly frustrating process. I mean, the, the whole point of this kit is that it's supposed to be fairly universal. And if you have to buy it to determine if it will fit your bike, then that kind of defeats the purpose of the kit. Now, I don't wanna write off this entire e-bike kit entirely because I'm sure there are people out there whose bikes it will fit. I mean, if you look at the reviews on Amazon, there are some good reviews where it worked for people. And I'm sure you're thinking, yeah, but those are probably fake reviews and maybe some of them are. 
there are also bad reviews where the kit actually fit on the bike and then broke after a few weeks. So it shows that there are bikes that apparently the kit fits on. It's just that it seems that of the four bikes I have, none of them fit. And that doesn't give me a good warm feeling about how many of your bikes this is going to fit. So this has unfortunately been a frustrating project, but in a way I'm kind of glad this happened to me because when this happens to anybody else, it's just frustrating. You can hopefully try and return it, but you're just left with a dead project. For me, at least I had the chance to warn some people and show that maybe this cheapest possible e-bike kit isn't the right solution and that you might want to look at something just a little bit better. Now, I still want to follow up on this goal of creating the cheapest possible e-bike and I'm going to continue working on this, but what this has shown me is that maybe I need to be focusing on something just a little bit better. My uh, original parts list came out to $183 and perhaps that's just trying to go too cheap. There's another kit made by this same company, Elfaster, that's a mid-drive. It's a little more expensive, but I might look into it because, and I might be making the same mistake again, but it looks like a little bit more of a universal fit than something like this that I didn't realize from the outset wasn't going to fit a large number of bikes. So um, this isn't the final end of this project. This is hopefully just a fairly large pothole in the road to building the cheapest possible e-bike that I can but it's going to require finding a different e-bike conversion kit because honestly, I just can't recommend this thing. At some point, I think I'm gonna to try to create a custom mount for this so I can actually use it because it's probably a fine motor, it's just the kit as designed isn't gonna work for me. And honestly, it's probably not gonna work for your bike if it didn't work for any of mine. So that's it, that's all I have to say about this e-bike conversion kit. Not the best design in the world by a long shot, and I probably won't be recommending this to anybody else. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will be following up with the next installment in this series once I find a new kit to use that's still gonna keep this a pretty low priced build. Um, I have everything else I need, you know, the batteries came in, the bike is waiting to be electrified, so I'm excited to get that out to you sometime soon. Last but not least, before you go, it is time to announce the randomly selected commenter that wins a free book from my last video. And the winning comment is... Carlos Costa Leite. So congratulations, just let me know uh, which one of my books you'd like and where to send it. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles, and anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment below this video and say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be randomly selected at the end of my next video. And for anyone who doesn't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys next time.